fear-based marketing. Something that has been around for a long, long time. Not just marketing, campaigning, right? Political campaigns and otherwise. One of the primer feelings and notions that we are conditioned to respond and react to over thousands of years is fear, right? At some point, it was a saber-toothed tiger. Today are many other things, many of which have been manufactured and made up into what they are presented in front of us. When it comes to actual marketing, it's something I noticed several times this week. A number of vendors and organizations that I know well have started marketing certain things entirely based on fear. They're doing two things, right? One is they're selecting a peer of mine or peer institution to mine and saying, look at all these bad things that they are going through. Don't be like them. Whether it's cybersecurity, communications, infrastructure, right? And so forth. Business continuity, disaster recovery, it doesn't matter, right? They're picking something that is unpleasant to those people now and they're using that in their marketing campaign. They're actually naming people or organizations and saying, look what's happening in place X, don't be like place X, which is horrible. And second, which is equally bad, way too many businesses are focused on bringing down their competition instead of building and improving their own product and their own services. Tell me how good you are. Tell me what's different, what's unique, what's more affordable about your product, about your service. How do you go about implementing it, integrating it? What are the services you provide? What else can I build on top of that product or that solution? Focus on that. How does it solve my problems? How does it solve problems of my boss, of my entire university? Focus on those things. Don't focus on how your competitor X is horrible or too expensive or dishonest and how your competitor Y is involved in a lawsuit, whether it's in European Union or somewhere else, or dealing with regulatory challenges and so forth. That tells me more than I need to know about you, your leadership, and everybody who decided to approve those marketing campaigns and efforts. Focus on yourself. Talk to me and others about the quality, value, uniqueness, originality of your product in your services. Don't go around bashing others because that doesn't tell me anything good about you. So let's stop doing these two things if we can and to those of us who can let's be intentional about it and let the vendors and partners know. Tell me about your product and don't badmouth others who are either competing with you or are experiencing severe challenges and difficulties right now, there is no point on stepping on someone who's already down. So let's have some honor, integrity, and dignity in everything we do, including marketing, awareness, and branding. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. And as always, if this is the first video you see and you like what you've heard, or at least some of what you heard, Consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Have a great day.